Good evening. Erie Mayor Joe Schember agrees to a debate against his challengers on live television. This after the mayor first said he felt there wasn't enough time to put such an event together. Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. We are reporting tonight Jet24 is providing the candidates for mayor of Erie an opportunity to address issues of concern. We will air a live political forum featuring the Democratic candidates for mayor. You can join us right here on Jet24 Action News for the discussion with all three candidates. It will happen this coming Thursday, next Thursday, May 13th at 5.30 p.m. You can also watch it live at YourErie.com. Tonight we learn more about the three Democratic candidates who will square off May 18th in the primary election and as Jill just told you right here on Jet24, Jocelyn Person joins us now in the control room. Jocelyn? Sean, each candidate, especially Mayor Joe Schimper, all have different plans to help better the city of Erie. Mayor Joe Schimber, Sidney Zimmerman, and Tom Spagel are all three Democrats running for mayor in the city of Erie. Tom Spagel and Sidney Zimmerman say finances of the city are their biggest concern. Uh, $1.6 million on the security in City Hall. Uh, that, in, in my opinion, and the opinion of, of a lot, certainly of people that I've spoke to, is considerably too high. I really wanted to see some leadership in Erie that is excited about getting community input, uh, you know, being transparent and being action-oriented advocates for the community, and I just wasn't seeing that in our options. Mayor Joe Schimber says under his administration, he has addressed the city's financial debt. The first year I had to do a budget, we were faced with an $11 million deficit before we did anything. Well, now the fact that the next four years there's going to be no deficit and no need to raise taxes. There are many plans in place each of these candidates have for the city of Erie. Yes, bringing jobs into the heart of the community is the best thing we possibly can do. We can have our business wherever we want to. I know that there's budget issues. But there's a lot that we can rearrange to ensure that we're doing right by our community. And I think the budget is one of them. Our problem right now with bringing businesses to Erie is we've got no land that's ready for a business. Like if a, if a business owner wanted to go there at, at 12th and Cherry, they have to tear down that building first. Improving the relationship between the community and Erie City Police is also a priority for the candidates. We do have one minority who will be uh, becoming a police officer this summer, uh, which is which is good, but we still need more of that. Uh, so it, you know, we can't just sit back, we have to keep working on it. We need more community policing. Uh, here at 25th and Ash, I, I've been here for you know, almost 28 years now, and you don't see the police walking around and getting to know our neighbors. You see them driving by and reacting. We need to make sure that they're doing their job correctly, so I think reviews is one way to do it, and training. The primary election is on May 18th, and the last day to request a mail-in or absentee ballot is May 11th. And to watch the full interviews of all three candidates, you can head over to YourErie.com. Sean, back to you. Now, Jocelyn Person in the control room for all your election news. Turn to your local election headquarters, YourErie.com.